In this episode, we will talk about the shortest scale in the universe, the Planck line. Let's enjoy it! First of all, we have to understand what is the Planck length. It is simply a length scale which results from the combination of three different constants. They are the Newtonian constant of gravity, the Planck constant, and the speed of light. But then it comes out the question, how do we obtain the Planck length? And what is the meaning of each constant appearing inside its definition? The Newtonian constant comes naturally from gravity. The theory of gravity is general relativity, which includes the Newtonian gravity as a weak field gravitational regime. Additionally, the constant corresponding to the speed of light emerges originally from electrodynamics, namely the theory of Maxwell. Subsequently, it also appeared as a key ingredient inside the theory of special relativity. In fact, special relativity is just a unification of electrodynamics with the ordinary dynamics. Finally, the other constant appearing inside the Planck line definition is the Planck constant. This constant emerges naturally from quantum mechanics and it is related with the microscopic scales where this theory is valid. It is also the key ingredient in the definition of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Then the appropriate combination of all these constants gives us the Planck length. Theoretical predictions suggest that at the scales near the Planck length, defects attributed to quantum gravity should appear. However, all theoretical predictions also suggest that quantum gravitational effects might appear indirectly at larger scales. The Planck scale or Planck length is so short that not even our most energetic accelerators will be able to reach this scale and as a consequence, the accelerators will never be able to test the quantum gravitational effects directly. However, there are other ways to test the quantum gravitational effects without reaching the Planck length. One way is by analyzing and testing the black hole physics. In fact, the black holes are the best laboratories for testing the quantum gravitational effects. Given the fact that such effects might appear in the neighborhood of the even horizon of the black hole. This is the case because near the even horizon, the gravitational field comes out to be very strong. Extremely strong gravitational fields, and in particular huge concentrations of masses in small regions, give us the ideal conditions for investigating quantum gravitational effects. The black holes satisfy by far these conditions. On the other hand, another option for looking at quantum gravitational effects at large scales is by analyzing possible combinations of scales. This means that it is possible to analyze the physics behind scales which results from the product of the Planck length with another scale which could be very large. One example of this method is obtained naively by looking at the generalized uncertainty principle. Remember that the Heisenberg uncertainty principle in quantum mechanics suggests that it is impossible to measure simultaneously the position and the momentum of a particle. However, the original formulation of Heisenberg doesn't impose any minimal length as far as the uncertainty rule is satisfied. The generalized uncertainty principle is then an extension of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle in order to take into account the minimal possible scale in physics. The additional term appearing on this modified principle is a term attributed to quantum gravity. Further extensions also include another term which takes into account a minimal scale in momentum. Interestingly, it comes out that the smallest scale in momentum might be connected with the cosmological constant, namely, the constant that we have to introduce inside the Einstein equations in order to obtain the accelerated expansion of the universe. Then, from expressions like the generalized uncertainty principle, 
and more rigorous equations, the mixes which result from the planet scale, the cosmological constant scale, and other scales might help to find indirect evidences of quantum gravity at large scales. Finally, another possibility for investigating evidences of quantum gravity without reaching the plan land is by looking in direct evidences such as the gravitational bond Haranod effect, which has been claimed to be observed in gravity recently. We will explain more about this effect in future episodes. In summary, the Planck scale is the shortest possible scale in the universe. At the scales near the Planck land, direct evidences of quantum gravity should appear. With our current accelerators, we cannot reach scales as short as the Planck land. However, we can still look at some evidences of quantum gravity by looking at the cosmos. The best laboratories for investigating quantum gravity are the black holes. Inside the physics of the black holes, together with expressions like the generalized uncertainty principle and others, it is possible to get physical macroscopic scales where indirect quantum gravitational effects might appear. Finally, other indirect evidences of quantum gravity can be obtained by analyzing some physical aspects like the Aharanov bond effect but apply it to gravity. If you like this video, please give us a like, share the link, and subscribe to the channel. More videos in Spanish and in English are coming very soon. Continue with us.